Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the fastest and most efficient ways to remove a background in Photoshop 2025. So let's not waste any more time and dive straight in. This is the image that we're going to be working with. First thing you want to do is unlock your layer by clicking the padlock icon in the bottom right hand side. Then what we're going to do is hit W on our keyboard to bring up any of our selection tools. You can use Shift W to cycle through because what we're going to use is the object selection tool. Once you have that selected, all you need to do is hover over the object that you want to select. Click this. And what that's going to do is Photoshop's AI is going to create the selection for you. And then simply all you need to do is go into the bottom right hand side and click the layer mask button. As soon as we've done that, you can see that we've removed the background from our object. Now, for those of you that want to stick around, let me teach you an important lesson about selection in Photoshop 2025. I'm going to name this layer as object selection, and then I'm going to duplicate it using the shortcut command J and delete the layer mask. And with my one tool selected, I'm going to head up to the top toolbar and use select subject. You may or may not be familiar with this as an option, but let me show you why you should never use select subject. What we're going to do is compare the selection results of these two methods side by side. On the left, we have the object selection tool and on the right, we have the select subject button. I'm going to quickly add a black background so we can clearly see the difference. Initially, they both look fairly similar, but let's zoom in. You can start to see a noticeable difference. The object selection tool has given us a much sharper and more accurate mask. And on the other hand, the select subject button, it looks uneven and it's even tried to add in a bit of the shadow, which we don't want. Now I know what you're thinking. Maybe the select subject button works better when you have a person and you're trying to remove the background. So let's take a look at how it works with this image. So let's start by unlocking our layer. I'm just going to create two versions of this. I'm going to start with the object select tool. And as you can see, we're not selecting everything, but I'm going to click it anyway. And I believe that this should automatically understand the cake that is being held in the hand. And there we have it. Yes, it has. So I'm going to quickly add my mask. I'm going to hide that layer and then I'm going to go to the layer underneath and we're going to use select subject. There we go. This is the select subject. And as you can see, it's clearly missed out the areas in between the fingers and the hair isn't looking too great. If we hide this and we go back to our object selection tool, you can see it's done a much better job. Uh, so I'm going to turn this back on and put these side by side. So you can see the difference between the two. And it is clear again that the object selection tool is far superior. So in Photoshop 2025, to remove backgrounds quickly from an image, you want to be using the object select tool, not select subject. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I have taught you something today. Don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.